We recently announced the availability of Terraform 0.12, which is the newest version of Terraform. And this is one of the bigger releases we've had in a while. What it really started with after Terraform.11 was us going and really trying to like listen to the community to better understand what are people's challenges using Terraform, not only as beginners, but as they get to intermediate and more advanced usages. And what this really sort of started to reveal for us was that there are sort of limitations of Terraform's configuration language known as HCL or the HashiCorp config language that as we get more sophisticated, we spend our time sort of fighting HCL to be able to really express what we want in terms of our infrastructure. And so this pointed to sort of a deeper need for us to look at both HCL, but also Terraform more broadly and say, how do we give users the flexibility and the expressive power uh, they really want to be able to support these more complex, larger infrastructures. So that started as sort of a small project in terms of a handful of updates to the system and ultimately ended up with HCL2, HashiCorp Config Language's sort of successor. So in many ways, HCL2 is backwards compatible and extremely familiar to anyone who's used HCL or Terraform you know, previous to 0 0.12, but what it really does is make the system much more expressive. So first class support for lists, for maps, for better expressions and interpolations, the ability to use for expressions and loops over resources. So what this lets us do is build richer, more complex infrastructure, but with a much less complex configuration, right? It lets us more succinctly ex explain exactly what we want without sort of having to hack around the edges of Terraform. So we're very, very excited for HCL2. We think it's gonna make Terraform configurations a lot simpler and more intuitive as you get to more complex deployments. The other thing we've been looking at with Terraform Enterprise is how do we make it easier for users to integrate Terraform into their existing workflows? So a common example of this is Terraform might be embedded as part of a CI CD pipeline, but we still wanna leverage Terraform Enterprise for its policy governance, its role-based access control, its state management. And so how do we integrate the CI environment? So what we've done is introduce this notion of remote plan and remote apply. So even though the Terraform command like Terraform Plan or Terraform Apply is being run in a CI environment or on a developer's laptop, what's really happening is that's being back-ended and executed by Terraform Enterprise remotely. So what this lets us do is still prevent you know, secrets such as AWS credentials or TLS certificates from having to be distributed to CI systems or developer machines. We can keep that centralized within Terraform Enterprise. But we also have a central way to see all of our change history, and a central way to apply our policy and governance on top of Terraform. So the goal is making it easy to sort of integrate those policy controls, but meet the end users wherever they are, whether CI or end systems. So both of these are sort of packaged and coming along with Terraform 0.12 that we're very excited to be able to share.